Um, hi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to remove duplicate um, URL from Google Index. Uh, so I'm going to be taking you through what you should be doing and uh, uh, how to address the problem properly. So uh, to start with, let me start with an example. Uh, here I am searching uh, for this particular keyword in my website. So, th so this is my website. So um, I'm searching for this particular keyword in my website and you can see there are two results uh, which is being pulled from my website peshawar.co. Um, this one is subdomain lahore.peshawar.co and this one is the main domain which is the https uh, www.peshawar.co. Um, the contents are exactly the same. Um, this one is a little bit older version and this one is the newer version. So um, I can show you just a glimpse of it. So they are both the same, uh, same design, same page, uh, but this one is uh, subdomain. And the reason um, you know I got this uh, is because it was actually unintentional that there was a code defect, and uh, because of that, it was pulling this particular page both in main domain as well as in subdomain so um, I wanted to remove the the subdomain because if you are pulling the same page uh, into different uh, into different areas in your website it's going to affect your SEO negatively so uh, Google will think that you know it's uh, two pages they're, they're the same content uh, and it, they're gonna penalize you for that uh, so uh, what I wanted to do is actually remove uh, this subdomain because I want to keep everything on my main domain with a subdirectory uh, which is in this case Peshawar. Uh, so um, the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out how you you actually want to do it. So uh, one way is that uh, you know you just delete your contents altogether uh, and the next time Google crawls in there it will be nothing in there and you know hopefully at some stage um, Google will remove it from indexing because the contents are not there. Now this method is um, a, a little bit risky uh, and a bit uh, tricky as well. So when something, once something is indexed in Google um, and if there's an, if on a subsequent crawl it's not found, uh, I don't think there's a guarantee that it's going to remove those contents. It's still going to be indexed and it's still going to show up in search results. Um, and uh, the negative might be that it might show in search result for a long time before they actually remove it um, from their cache. So um, a better way I think is to uh, uh, choose uh, no index uh, in the meta in the meta tag. Uh, so the next time Google crawls it, it will unindex uh, it from their cache and uh, that way you will only have one version uh, the one the version that you actually want to keep so uh, <clears throat> here um, the, the problem that I'm trying to show you is that uh, if you look at the code uh, remember that this is the subdomain page that I want to remove and uh, if I want to take you to the index page here um, there's the meta robots uh, tag for no index no follow uh, and this is supposedly it's, it should be working um, but uh, it's as you can see it's still being pulled uh, on the search result so so what is going on and uh, in this video I'm going to just explain to you um, what actually is going on and why uh, even though there is no index uh, it still uh, it still appears in the search uh, results so uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, basically um, include the no index which I have shown here. You want to include that. Um, and uh, if you have uh, search console, Google search consoles, you want to go select the subdomain um, that you want to play with. And uh, here I am on this particular one so uh, I'm just going to explain what actually is happening um, and why this uh, duplicate page is still showing on the search result. 
So if you click on the coverage, um, you will see that uh, you can click on the valid uh, and you can also click on the excluded and uh, on the valid you can see that as it's scrolling it actually is removing uh, contents pages from its uh, cache uh, but the thing is that it's not being uh, removed altogether even though there is no index uh, on the pages but it's still not removing it uh, and the reason is uh, that these pages are not cr uh, crawl all at the same time so when the robot when the Google bot comes in it crawls maybe you know 10 pages 20 pages 30 pages um, but it doesn't crawl every single page that is on there on the uh, in the cache so uh, to look at it um, if you want to look at uh, this particular so index not submitted inside so these remember these are the valid ones the green ones okay so click on this one so right now there's only nine valid pages uh, and uh, uh, so the, the problem that I want to show you is that at this stage you can see that April 19 there was 18 uh, and here it was uh, 18 then it went down to 13 then 11 and then it's only nine pages and here was 25 okay okay so if you look at the pages here uh, for example this one you can see that the last time they were crawled was in February 18 2019 today is by the way 3rd June 2019 uh, so this was February 18 2019 uh, and if you go further down the list, it says June 9, 2018. This is almost one year old. So the last time these pages were crawled was in 2018, almost one year ago. And that's the reason that even though, um, let's look at this one. Uh, even though they are marked as uh, no index, uh in here where is it here so even though they're marked no index no follow but uh, the issue was that google never crawled it after june 9 2018 and right now it's 2019 so uh, it, it never crawled and therefore uh, its status never updated um so basically uh, you have to just kind of you know uh um, wait for it till the Google crawls your entire website. Um, there might be the second way is that you might want to uh, actually submit these URLs in in a sitemap. So just create your own sitemap and include these just these selected URLs and submit that. And when Google crawls that, it will automatically uh, unindex uh, these uh, from the website. So um, that's uh, uh, so that's another way of doing it. And now there's also another option that you know somebody suggested me is that you can do a 301 redirect. Uh, so uh, when the page, uh, so in, instead of instead of no index, you want to do a 301 redirect. So um, when the Google bot comes in here, it will go to the intended page and it will effectively remove this one from the index. So there will be only one version. Uh, again, I think that this method is totally fine. Uh, the only issue is that you know allow Google to index this page and, and just wait for it. Um, the second issue that you might face is that sometimes you have robot.txt file and it has blocked uh, uh, Google Bot. So in that case, even though you have um, no index selected, uh, no index select, but then again, because the Google Bot is uh, blocked, so it will never visit the, your website and it will remain in the cache uh, e even though you don't want it to be. Um, and, and also you want to be cautious that you don't want to block the robot uh, in this case uh, because if the robot is blocked Google is never going to index this page again and uh, just like in here uh, when it has the last status is, which is one year old it will remain there and you know uh, I, I think Google doesn't want to remove these pages it just stays there even though its ranking is poor um, and you know the content may not be that great but it just keeps that in the cache so uh, never block your robot if you want to unindex uh, a particular page so uh, yeah I hope this helps 
uh, and uh, if you have any question feel free to ask and I'll reply thank you